before starting with different types of FM transmitters and FM receivers, we are going to see some mathematical analysis of FM. There are four different definitions related to FM and PM. The first one is called as instantaneous phase deviation. It is the instantaneous change in the phase of the carrier at, at a given instant of time. It is denoted by theta t and unit is radian. This is equation number 4. Instantaneous phase, the precise phase of the carrier at a given instant of time. It is given by omega c t plus theta t, it is also in radian, equation number 5. Next is instantaneous frequency deviation, the instantaneous change in the frequency of the carrier and is defined as the first time derivative of the instantaneous phase deviation. It is the rate of change of theta t, so it is de divide, uh, denoted as theta dash t, it is measured in radian per second, this is equation number 6. Single dash means first order, if there are two dash, it is the second order rate of change. And the fourth concept is instantaneous frequency, the precise frequency of the carrier at a given instant of time and is defined as the first time derivative of the instantaneous phase. It is denoted by omega i, the formula is omega i is equal with omega c plus theta dash t, it is measured in radian per second. This is equation number 7. PM is an angle modulation in which theta t is proportional to the amplitude of the modulating signal and FM is theta dash t is proportional to the amplitude of the modulating signal. See here PM means theta t and rate of change of theta is FM, it is denoted by theta dash t. We know omega is radian per second, it is a d theta upon dt. So, rate of change of angle is nothing but frequency. For a modulating signal Vm of t, theta t is given by k into Vm of t in radian. Equation number 8 and theta dash t is given by k1 into Vm of t radian per second. Equation number 9, k and k1 are called as deviation sensitivity constant for phase and frequency. For the mathematical analysis m of t, we have equation number 1 is v c cos of omega c t plus theta t, substituting the value of v m of t that is v m cos omega m t in equation number 8 and 9. So, for p m, theta t is integration of theta dash t, this is equation number 10. So, m of t is v c cos of omega c t, so integration theta t is replaced by that integration of theta dash t. So, v c cos of omega c t plus integration of theta dash t is previous, theta dash t will be k 1 v m of t. So, put theta dash t as k 1 v m of t. So, k 1 v m of t, but v m of t is nothing but we know the formula v m of t can be given as equation number 2, v m cos of omega t. So, put here v m of t as v m cos of omega t. So, the formula becomes v c cos of omega c t k 1 v m is a constant which is outside the integration side and integration of cos is sin of omega m t upon omega m, this is equation number 11. So, in short these are the equations for phase and frequency modulated carriers. Number 1, it is a phase modulating signal is represented by v m of t and angle modulated signal is represented by v c cos of omega c t plus k v m of t. Second frequency modulating signal is represented by v m of t 
एंगल मॉडुलेटेड इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वी सी कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा सी टी प्लस के वन इंटीग्रेशन वी एम ऑफ टी डी टी थर्ड इज फेज मॉडुलेटिंग सिग्नल इज गिवन बाय वी एम कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा एम टी एंगल मॉडुलेटेड इज गिवन बाय वी सी कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा सी टी प्लस के वी एम कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा एम टी एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी इज गिवन बाय मॉडुलेटिंग सिग्नल इज वी एम कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा एम टी एंड एंगल मॉडुलेटेड इज गिवन बाय वी सी कॉस ऑफ ओमेगा सी टी प्लस के वन वी एम अपॉन ओमेगा एम इन टू साइन ऑफ ओमेगा एम टी दीज आर द टू वे फॉर्म्स वन इज द फ्रीक्वेंसी सेकेंड इज द फेज सी द सेकेंड डायग्राम फ्रीक्वेंसी मॉड्यूलेशन मीन्स वेन एवर देर इज अ कॉम्प्रेशन और देर इज अ एक्सपांशन कॉम्प्रेशन मीन्स हाई फ्रीक्वेंसी and expansion means low frequency similarly for pm there is a change of phase so that's why it is called pm so we have the formula m of t vc cos of omega t plus m now what is this m from the previous equation m is nothing but see the equation number 11 m is modulation index it is given by k1 into vm upon omega m in last the 12th number equation what whenever, whenever or whatever m is written that m is nothing but this 11 number equation k1 into vm upon omega m so k1 into vm upon omega m is nothing but m and m is called as modulation index it is directly proportional to the vm and inversely proportional to the omega m and for pm it is a delta theta so it is a k into vm in radians this is equation number 13 in short in fm modulation index is directly proportional to the vm and inversely proportional to the omega m and in pm modulation index is directly proportional to only vm so m is k1 into vm upon omega m equation number 15 and k1 into vm upon fm this parameter is a unitless so for fm the modulation index doesn't have any unit this is the graph of fm and pm the first graph is of vm versus m for fm and pm the graph is straight line linear means as vm increases modulation index also increases second graph is of fm and m or fm it is inversely proportional but for pm it is remains constant because it is not depends on fm modulation index of pm is not depend on fm third is vm versus delta theta it is also for pm it is a linear or a straight line and last fourth graph is vm versus delta f it is also linear or it is a directly proportional 